Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In today's video lecture, the topic of discussion is special addresses in IPv4. Now in the previous uh, video lectures, I have explained you about the total number of addresses in IPv4 that is 2 to the power of 32 and classless classful addressing divided into 5 classes. Classless addressing does not have any class, it is divided into blocks of varying sizes. Now out of these total number of addresses that is around 4 billion addresses, there are few addresses that are considered to be special addresses. So what is the reason for giving these addresses or may, may, making these addresses as special? What for or where particularly we are using these kind of ad special addresses? Let us see one by one. Basically, if you want to divide the total number of special addresses, uh, the category in the special addresses, the first one is all zeros addresses, second all ones addresses, third category is loopback address, fourth private addresses and the last one is the multicast address. The first one if you look here, all zeros addresses in the decimal notation it will be 0, .0, .0, .0 slash 32. Now here you are making use of our CIDR notation only. So this is the address for what? The all zeros addresses and this address is called as this host address. What it is? This host address. Look here the prefix value it is 32, 2 to the power of 32 minus 32 is what? 2 to the power of 0 which is 1. That means this is one single address in that whole list of IPv4 addresses which is called as this host address. So when are we going to use any time, any point of time if the client does not know its IP address then in the source part in the message it can make use of 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0. So this is what? Whenever a particular client is not aware of what it so or it, it does not know what IP address is assigned to its device or to its connection then it can make use of this address in the packet. So that is why this address is called as a special address. All ones, all ones address if you have to write all ones and convert that into decimal notation it becomes 255.255.255.255 slash 32 here also we have slash 32 so that means 2 to the power of 32 minus 32 2 to the power of 0 which is 1 so this address is called as the limited broadcast address limited broadcast address so when this particular address is used normally suppose i'll give you one uh, network scenario this is one network you have number of hosts in the network, okay. And now one particular host wants to send a message. Suppose if this is the ho um, host which wants to send a message to all other hosts in the network. That time the destination address this host can use 255.255.255.255. So this way all the hosts that are present in this network will receive the message. Uh, but one thing is uh, it that is normally we call it as broadcast but here it is limited broadcast that means this network okay definitely when it is connected to the network another network via a router the router when it sees that the destination address is this then it will take care that that this particular message does not travel or does not cross this network it is limited only to this network that message so that's the name that's why the name is what limited broadcast address the third type is the loopback address, loopback address, see till now you have seen all zeros is only one single address, all ones is one single address, loopback address is here, okay, this is the loopback address, so let me write here also, all zeros, 0 .0 .0 0.0.0 slash 32, all ones, 255.255.255.255. The next comes what the loopback, okay, this one. It is 127.0.0.0 slash 8, prefix value 8, lower the prefix value, higher is the number of IP addresses or higher, uh, higher is the number of host in the network. So here you can look, uh, there, there is a very huge block, this is a very huge block and one of the addresses from this block can be used by the clients and what for what for we are using this particular address it is called as loopback address that means 
suppose if i am sending from my machine a message in the destination address i will write it as 127.0.0 or any one of the address from this block if i select as destination address and in my message i am having my own source address also when i write this as the destination address the message will not leave my machine at all that means it come back to me you are sending the message to yourself so but what for we are sending the message to ourself why we require that our machine only should receive this message normally we send message to other devices but now you are sending the message to your own device so the reason is for testing purposes if you want to test any particular software or if you are having the server part also installed in your machine you are the client you want to test so you want to send a message to the server that time you can make use of this or you want to test your network interface card is working properly or not that time also you can make use of this so just for testing purposes this address is used here so that is why the basic idea is if you have to test anything for your machine or for any program you cannot try to send the message to other machines or other devices and in case if something goes wrong the other devices will be in problem so if you have to solve your problem you have to use that address to your own machine if any problem comes it will come to your own machine only so that is why we call this as loop back okay the address is coming here yeah, the message is coming back to your own device then we have private addresses private addresses we have nearly four blocks look here the blocks 10.0.0/8 172.16.0.0/0 192.168.0.0/16/169.254.0.0/16 these are the four blocks which comes under which category the private addresses so private addresses why these four blocks are meant for private addresses for this you don't require suppose if any of these addresses want to communicate with each other they do not require any internet connection they can communicate with itself but when they want to communicate with a device with which is there in the internet okay when they want to communicate with some other outsider then uh, that that particular time they are that time they have to make use of what the global address otherwise just with private addresses they can manage communicating with each other and for this particular uh, like use of this ip uh, private addresses there is one topic related to it in your syllabus and you can very well understand the usage of private addresses in that topic the topic is network address translation so when i discuss this network address translation you can really appreciate the use of these four blocks that are called as private addresses the last the fourth the fifth type of category is what the multicast addresses and the block is 224.0.0.0/24 so this is the block that is meant for the multicast addresses multicast address is what one to one is unicast one to many is multicast so the ip address is assigned to a number of host here see normally in unicast every device will get one unique ip address but whereas in multicast a group of host will get one ip address from this block and that is called as multicast so when i when we discuss about the multicast routing that time i can still more like uh, elaborate on multicasting multicast routing and multicast addresses so hope you people have understood this concept of uh, special addresses in ipv4 thank you take care bye bye